There's a new highway coming to line in Caldwell County. It's Highway 641. Uh, the state has put enough money in, actually $55 million, in order to build this road over the next six years. It's going to be good for safety. Uh, if you've traveled the road from Edible to Marion, you know how dangerous that road is. So safety is a big issue that this road is going to fix. The other great issue that it covers is economic development. This road is going to be important for the next 50 or 60 years uh, to all of our communities, Lyon, Caldwell, and Crittenden County. It's especially going to help Crittenden County. They've got businesses there that run semi-trucks up and down this small road all the time. It's very important that we help the economy of Crittenden County, the economy of Caldwell County. Uh, but the other part of that is we can't sacrifice one group for another. And that's what's happening here with the two routes that the state is leaning toward, which is Route B or Route C. Um, it's going to hurt our farming community in ways that will last forever. This farm here, I'm sixth generation on this piece of ground. I've been farming by myself for seven years, but I've been farming, I farmed with my grandfather before he passed away since I was a young kid. Right here on this farm. It's had a crop on it over probably 100 years, I'd say. Back when they were farming with mules, they were farming these farms right here we're standing on. This is the Brotmeyer farm. It's been their family for uh, over 100 years. This is some of the best farmland that we have here in, in Lyon County. We've worked at it, taking fence rows and stuff out of it for the last 10 years, trying to make it larger where it's in one track where it makes it easier to farm. This is one of my best farms. It's 200 bushel plus corn ground, 60 bushel bean ground right here. Basically, to the left and right would be the main road. I don't know exactly how much I would lose because of the road, but I'm gonna say I'd lose a bunch because it's going the whole length of the field. But there's good news. There is another option, and that other option is called Route A. Route A actually has 33% of its mass on already owned state property. So all it requires is going from taking private land ownership from right here to moving it to right there. Right here is where Route A would be on state owned property. The Department of Corrections likes Route A because it does not tear down their shooting range that will cost thousands to rebuild. So let's take a look at Route B and C, which is the two routes that the state is leaning towards. Uh, as you can see, Route B and C both start out together and start cutting across farmland all the way across here, and they start splitting apart. But both of them do the same thing. Both of them run right, right down the middle of a lot of very important farmland. Uh, some of them even go through homes they'll lose their homes. Route C, you can see, takes a circle out into several uh, important farmland, farm fields, um, and splits them right down the middle. There'll be about oh, a strip of maybe 20 acres on the highway, and you'll have two highways so close together that it'll be just almost not even worth with farming it anymore. I'm gonna have to spray the field is two different fields now, planted is two different fields. Um, it won't even be treated as one farm anymore, it'll be two different farms is what it'll end up being. Once a road and the infrastructure is there, it's over with for generations to come. You hate to lose any of it, especially as a young farmer. Let me show you what Route A does. Route A begins there, of course, at the same place B and C begins, but it takes a little bit a different track. It, it starts out across some private land, but then it goes on to state-owned property. It stays on state-owned property all the way until you almost get out of Lyon County, making a lot of sense for us. The good thing about the Route A, it's going to skip over the shooting range for the Department of Corrections. It's going to go through what's considered West Park Industrial Park, which is this part that's in yellow. It will continue on up through the rock quarry, which will be positive for the rock, rock quarry. And from then on through Caldwell County, it skirts along the side of the old railroad bed. 
That's important because you're not splitting farms through there. You're on the edge of a farm, which makes the world a difference to a farmer. Let me take you back to a couple other important points that Route A does. Right here is West Park Industrial Park. That was set up about 10, 12 years ago uh, by five judges in our five counties. And it stayed on property that was set aside for uh, industrial purposes, hopefully to bring in uh, a large business there. One of the best things about Route A, it goes right down the middle of it, giving a great road for people to build something on either side of this road and have good access out. Another thing that is good about this is the rock quarry. Right now, if Route B or C was built, the rock quarry would actually have to go past the old 641 and there would have to be another road built in order to get them to Route B or C or they would have to travel up the old 641 which is what this is all about is getting those big trucks off that small road. In 2016 we took Route A and we put it out as a survey to the people in Lyon County, Caldwell County, and Crittenden County and asked them to come to the courthouse, take a look at the map and see Route A, B, and C and choose which one they wanted. Well, they came, 155 people came and 152 chose Route A. That's 98% positive for Route A. How often is a road built anywhere where that kind of percentage is for the road? I personally went and saw Route A, the survey that was conducted on it, and of all the routes given to us, I believe Route A is the best one. Um, it affects the least amount of farm ground to start with, and for two, it affects the least amount of people in our area. I think it takes out less, less houses, it takes out less farm ground, and it's cheaper. Over the past 25 years, the state has presented to the people around 14 different routes. Route A has been really the only one that people could agree on. Um, here's the bad news. When we presented this to the state in 2016, they said that they didn't have enough money to study parts of Route A. There are parts of Route A, about 50% of that road, that hasn't been studied by the state to make sure that the land is viable for a road. This is the road where Judge White wants the new 641. Most of it sits on state-owned prison property until it hits this property line here where there's already a road. I don't want to be put in a position of, of arguing with Judge White. But, but there are some things to be considered. Keith Todd with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet says looking into a new route would take time and money, half a million dollars or more. The money's not there, so this would be completely new money that we would have to be bringing into the project. Here's the good news. $4.3 million was put into the design work of new 641. There's gonna be about $3 million that is gonna be saved from not having to purchase right away from private owners. 33% of the property that Route A would go on is already owned by the state. And by 2020, they need to have the design done and have bought the property. So you look at this, 33% of that whole road, you don't have to buy the property. You don't have to uh, continually go back and forth with landowners, possibly uh, worry with lawsuits for 33% of that road. We've got the time and we've got the money. We want this new highway. It's very important for us, but we want Route A, which makes common sense. If you're gonna spend the amount of money that the state is wanting to spend, we need to do it right the first time. Um, there is no redo. You're not gonna get a second shot at this. It needs to be right, it needs to be calculated the first time. In Lyon County, over 60% of our land is in the hands of the federal government or the state government. Land is just precious to us, especially that land there that is helping our farming community. Routes B and C takes away a lot of that. So why not Route A? Why not choose an option that doesn't split farms in half? Why don't we try to go around the farms and keep things that we've worked really hard to keep together all these years? Why not put it on state property instead of our land. Why not go with Route A? 
Well, the state doesn't have to buy this prime farm ground. Let's, let's do a cheaper auction. Why not use Route A where it's over closer to the quarry where the trucks can get on the, the road faster and not have to drive three miles out further to get on it? Why not listen to the 150 people that were in favor of Route A? I mean, why not listen to them? Why not use Route A? It's shorter, it'll cost less, and it's not taking our land. Folks, this is what we need to do. This is your chance to speak out, whether you like Route A, B, or C. Mike McGregor, he works for the State Transportation Department. He agreed to allow us to send emails to him stating which route we, we want. Here's his email address, mike.mcgregor at ky.gov. Send a copy. When you send him one, send me a copy, if you don't mind, to lyoncountyjudge at gmail.com. This is the way that we speak out. He will forward it up to whoever he needs to send it to up in Frankfurt. Uh, Mike's worked with us a great deal, great guy, but he does need to hear from us on which route we would prefer. Thank you.